With Father's Day coming up this weekend, we have the perfect recipe for you to take home and cook for dear old dad over the weekend. Here to tell us a little bit more and give us all the details is Jody Lawrence with the Foodie Blog. What's the full name? The Fashionable Foodie. The Fashionable Foodie. Yeah, perfect. Hi. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, so what are we making today? Okay, so today we're going to make um, some spaghetti with sauteed eggplant. Okay. It's going to be really delicious. It's going to be super simple to make. You can definitely impress your dad with this recipe. Um, even if you're not a super home chef. Perfect. And hey, so, I like short recipes. So. Yes, short, sweet, to the point. We're going to be using a pre made sauce today mm -hmm. by um, Cucina Antica. Mm -hmm. Great sauce, no GMOs, no preservatives, no added sugar. It's really good stuff, but you don't have to simmer it on your stove for 100 years Perfect. like you would if you were going to make your own okay, sauce. Okay, so let's get started. Go ahead and talk okay. through step number awesome. one and two. So, step number one is we're going to put a little bit of olive oil in mm -hmm. this um, carbon steel pan. And, you know, you can measure it out if you want to. Olive oil is delicious. I just eyeball so, it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just throw some olive oil in there. Then we're going to do this um, eggplant that I have chopped up into, um, you know, pieces that are around an inch-ish. Mm -hmm. So kind of, kind of bite-sized. Yeah, a very bite-sized. You don't want to have to cut up your eggplant, you know, while you're eating your pasta, while you're getting your noodles on your fork. And we're going to let these saute for a few minutes just until they start to wilt. Okay. And we're gonna add um, a little salt and pepper to them. So some fresh cracked pepper. Gotta season them just a little bit. Yeah, season <laughs> them just a little bit, just to your liking. If you really like pepper, go for it. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of salt. And now you mentioned that we're gonna use the Cucina Antica sauces. Yes. Um, and they're really great because, like you said, there's no GMO, no preservatives. Exactly. Not even really water. I mean, it's a very yes. natural sauce. No added water, not made with tomato paste. Mm -hmm. um, it's a really good natural sauce, a great option. Oh, it um, smells great. And it's a beautiful red color. It too. is. A know, great it, option. It looks and it smells like a homemade sauce. Exactly. But there's not the work. You just open the jar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You don't want to be like simmering sauce over your stove for hours and hours. Right. Especially not on Father's Day when you want to hang out with your family you and have a good time. time. Exactly. Um, the sauce is also made from San Marzano tomatoes mm -hmm. that come from Italy. They're imported to make this sauce, so it's really authentic. It's going to Tastes like it came from an Italian kitchen. And now you want to simmer the sauce just a little bit, yes. right? Do you want to okay. pour that sauce in I there? sure will. So we're going to pour the sauce in a Dutch oven. And in my opinion, a good Dutch oven is the key to making a really good pasta mm -hmm. because you can really get those noodles in there and get that sauce coated all over every noodle. Every bite's going to be perfect. So we're going to simmer this sauce for just a little while. Perfect. Just use the same spatula. Get it all nice and warm in there. Which we've already cooked our noodles. I mean, we know how to yes. cook our noodles. We've got our noodles water, here. Right? <laughs> we cooked them al dente. Um, so just, you know, cook them according to the package. Right. No big deal. We can all make pasta. <laughs> okay, so Father's Day, and you said this recipe is a little bit special to you because your dad loves pasta. So my family loves pasta. Um, my parents still have a pasta night, like once a week. Oh, yeah. We love to make pasta together. So, you know, I know any pasta dish that I make, my dad is going to love. And we're keeping it pretty healthy here today mm -hmm. with the eggplant. I was going to say, talk to me about the eggplant. Now, I've, right. I have to say, I've never tried eggplant, so I'm very curious to take it by. <laughs> so this is a little different than what um, some people think of when they think of an eggplant with a pasta. It's not an eggplant parmesan. You're not getting all that breading on the eggplant. Mm -hmm. Just keeping it really fresh, really clean, um, sauteing it. Super simple. Just you know, get your eggplant. You're gonna wash it, um, and then I like to cut the top and bottom off, mm -hmm. and then half it again, and then um, I sort of quarter it, quarter it, and then half those again. So okay. that's how I got these little triangles like this. Again, super simple. So and you can really, I mean, close. you can cut them any way you really wanted to. If you wanted oh, more of a yeah. chunk, or if however. you want it in chunks, if you want it in um, strips, you can do that as well. I just really like a bite-sized piece. Um, so now we're going to put in our cooked pasta, and we're just going to use some tongs here and just really coat this in this delicious mm -hmm. sauce. And it, you can see the chunks of tomato in there that yes. really give it that homemade look. Um, and of course it has that taste because it's a very natural product. Exactly. A very natural sauce. This is um, Cucina Antica's tomato basil sauce. They make several different types of sauces, um, but this is one of my favorites and it's just a really good addition to this eggplant flavor that we're going to get in this dish. So if someone is maybe a little skittish to try eggplant. Is this a recipe that's easily adaptable with chicken or any? Sure. Else? Yeah, I think that you could definitely do this with chicken instead. Really, anything that you can just throw in a skillet, saute mm -hmm. with some salt and pepper, you're good to go. Perfect. So our eggplant's getting really close here. Oop. Just 
give it a few more minutes. I know these little these plates are real slippery. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting some nice color on this eggplant. I think we're about ready to plate this up. Perfect. So we're gonna put a little bit of that Parmesan okay. cheese there on it. Or in my case, a lot of Parmesan cheese yeah, that's because me. I really don't think that you can have enough. It, I would put this whole bowl on there. <laughs> yes, me too. I'm like, I like to Parmesan and then Parmesan again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always like, is that enough? And then I'm so, like, no, so I add a little bit more. <laughs> exactly. So we've got Parmesan cheese and then we're going to do, I've chopped a little fresh basil here. Yum. We're just going to put that on the top. If you're a pepper person, you can definitely put a little bit more mm -hmm. pepper on there. Awesome. Um, but that's it. Perfect. That's super simple and easy. Okay, I'm going to let it cool down, but I'm going to try the yes. eggplant awesome. because I'm dying sure to know what that tastes like. <laughs> um, okay, so tell me again where your blog is. So you can find um, recipes for me, travel tips um, at thefashionablefoodieblog.com. Okay. You can also find me on Instagram at the underscore fashionable foodie. Um, and I post all my food adventures and my favorite outfits there and um, all my travels Perfect. and things. Perfect. And now the Kachina Antica sauces are um, newer, but they are available at Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. They're available um, here locally also at what? Target, Fresh Market, mm -hmm. and Village Market. Yes. And on Amazon.com. Yes, and so on Amazon.com. You can grab those sauces. And I will say, I have cooked with their sauce before, and it was amazing. Yes. So. And you can get more recipes like this one from kuchina antiquacom Perfect. Well, Jody, thanks for joining us. And we will also put this recipe on our Let's Chat page on WDF.com and on Facebook. I'm going to try a bite of this, Jody. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much Happy for Father's Day to Happy your dad. Happy Father's Day to your dad. All right. Awesome. We'll see you guys right back here on Let's Chat.